Good afternoon, I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Thursday afternoon. After months of discussion, Clarenda school officials are addressing some emergency building needs with two major projects. By a unanimous vote, late Wednesday afternoon, the Clarenda School Board approved the plan, specifications, form of contract, and estimated total cost for improvements at Clarenda's 712 complex for the 2024-25 school year. Clarenda School Superintendent Jeff Privia tells KMA News the project includes additional middle school classrooms and other renovations. Funding for the district's secure and advanced vision for education or saved dollars cover the high school renovations estimated at $9.8 million. Saved dollars are also earmarked for another project, renovation of the pre-K-6 building's heating and air conditioning system. By popular demand, Shenandoah officials have an opportunity to get rid of unwanted junk this weekend before winter sets in. City officials and Shenandoah Sanitation host the first fall citywide cleanup event Saturday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Shenandoah Mayor Roger McQueen tells KMA News residents are welcome to dispose of certain materials at Shenandoah Sanitation at 1207 Ferguson Road, provided they have proper identification. You know, just bring either your utility bill or uh, some proof of, uh, of a Shenandoah residence. Uh, you know, take it down there. Uh, there's going to be plenty of, of, of uh, people there to help you unload. Uh, you know, if you just have a small trailer and stuff, you probably don't even have to get out of your car. They'll take care of it for you. There will also be a big inloader on hand, just like we do in the spring to get the big stuff. Three, two, one. The Queen says Saturday's event is a chance for residents to clean up their properties without waiting until next spring's citywide cleanup day event. KMA News continues its Meet the Candidates series, featuring the candidates running in key citywide and school board races in the November 7th citywide elections. We have two reports today. Uh, our first segment featured the incumbent in Shenandoah's at-large council race, Richard Jones. He was guest on KMA's Morning Line program this morning. Our second report features Aaron Schmidt, one of three challengers running for two at-large Red Oak school board positions. Both the reports are located with the web stories online at kmaland.com. KMA on track weather, mostly cloudy this afternoon, highs in the low 70s. Tonight, a 30% chance of rain overnight, mostly cloudy, lows in the low 40s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have yourself a good rest of your Thursday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.